Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Omid Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Pixel Gangsters. That's right, it's a mafia management type game where you manage your own mafia. Um, let's jump into a new game and see exactly what we've got in store. I should point out, by the way, that this game is in a very early stage of development. However, the concept is very, very cool, and I thought, you know what, let's give it a, let's give it a little check out. Um, right, so first of all, you can choose uh, between what type of gangster you're going to, you're going to create. Um, let's go for, uh, let's go for business. I like, I like me some business. But we can also get combat, bootlegging, collection of profits, uh, business profits, etc. Uh, we are, of course, going to name ourselves Orbital Potato. That's right, just because uh, we can. Uh, nickname? Nickname? Not Montana. Taddies. There we go. Um, let's go for mail. Sure. I, I I don't mind that. It's a little it's a little weird, but that's fine. Okay, uh, let's jump into things. As I say, this game is at a very, very early stage of development. Um, different victory conditions. Eliminate all rival headquarters. Control 90% of the city or earn $100,000. Now, it's probably worth uh, noting. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to go through this. We'll explain exactly what's going on uh, as we go. Uh, probably worth noting straight from the outset. I love the way that the game looks. I really, really do. Um, we start... We start right here and it's probably best if I actually have um, the layer screen on so you can see exactly what is going on around us uh, so we start at this Italian restaurant this is our place this is our headquarters um, we can get it upgraded we can recruit more uh, more gangsters through here there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can do through here but before we uh, before we check out that we should probably have a little look around the city as you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, randomly generated uh, buildings whole bunch of randomly generated blocks and we're gonna be you know conducting conducting all of our nefarious businesses in this area so that's i mean very well very much looking forward to that law firm coffin makers pharmacies banks lots of small banks uh pest control large banks all that sort of nonsense right now uh, we start up here seven thousand five hundred bucks uh we can go to the next week we get a, a paper at the start of each week which really determines i guess uh, shows uh what we what we do this mini map by the way is <laughs> It's completely useless. Uh, no offense. Uh, it, it's just, it's just not that useful. Um, we can kind of see where we are. It, it just doesn't really seem that handy. Anyway, uh, yeah. So there, there's basically different ways that you can go about. Let's zoom in, in on the HQ. There's different ways that you can go about uh, accumulating money in this game and um this is all subject to change however there are five sort of like basic play styles um one um you can start blowing stuff up um two you can start spying to try and find your rivals three you can start buying businesses four you can start extorting businesses um or you can just you know just do a do a mix of them all which i think is exactly what we're gonna we're gonna do i should say by the way uh that there is no tutorial for this game so you know if you want to check out the strategy guide um you can see that linked down in the description and see if you can try and muddle through this with me together and if you want to pick up the game well then you know go for it right anyway let's start extorting some people uh, or maybe we should start recruiting some people i should have a little look at the office and see what we've got. So we've got me. I am the leader. I don't pay myself anything. Soldiers. I can equip soldiers to myself. Weapons, vehicles, etc. That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, we're not going to worry about that altogether too much. Uh, we can bribe people, and um, and that is something that I that I do want to do. If we bribe the mayor, building prices go down. Uh, if we bribe the chief just justice, conviction chance goes down. Police captain uh, chance of arrest. And the Archbishop is the infamy per bribe. Okay, lovely. That's infamy up in the top corner, by the way. Uh, right, so the finances are pretty good. Um, we own one business at the moment. It's the Italian restaurant. It's the headquarters. That makes perfect sense. Uh, now, we can send collectors to try and uh, get money. Uh, we can also just apparently choose to uh, avoid taxes, which I'm not going to do because I'm a, you know, I'm a good person. Uh, trade, yep, we can produce and store booze once you start buying new businesses. Hey, 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 I'm very excited about doing that. Uh, market price is at the moment um, five bucks. That's fine. Uh, we can choose to we can choose to sell it. This is one of the strategies that we can uh, that we can choose to uh, that we can choose to employ. Uh, send mobsters to sell to areas of the cities and build rackets to automatically sell more booze. I'm interested. I'm interested. You may set this, the price high. The higher the price, the lower the chances it'll sell. Uh, yeah. So if we were to increase that, yeah. So if we increase it up to like, you know, ten dollars, sixty percent chance to to sell. I mean, why don't we buy like a couple of units? There seems to be no reason not to, right? You know, we've got seven thousand uh, dollars in the bank. Let's give it a shot. We'll buy twenty units. Tatties, great. Archbishop. Uh, will attempt to purchase booze this week. 
Archbishop? Not quite sure why it says Archbishop there, but whatever. It doesn't particularly matter. Right, so we're going to go and buy some booze. That seems like a fun little thing to do. Um, yeah, let's go back to the office. As I say, that's the trade screen. And then rivals, right? So we can see exactly uh, who our rivals are here. And they are the other sort of traits, uh, I guess. We've got the combat trait, the bootlegging trait, and I think that's the profit collection trait, if I'm not mistaken. And we can see the stats and the whole sort of stuff and diplomacy and whatever. We don't need to worry about this too, too much. The thing that we have to bear in mind, right, is that we can recruit up to 10 people. We only have one person at the moment. So it's probably going to be a pretty high priority for us to start recruiting some additional uh, mobsters, which is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, let's go to the next. We can see exactly sort of the interface uh, of what happens. As you can see, Taddy's bought 10 units of booze. Excellent. Bandits get away with loot in museum robbery. Okay. All right. Fine. Doesn't particularly matter to me. That is no big deal at all. Uh, right. So we ended up, we ended up spending a little bit of cash, but if I'm not mistaken, we ended up bringing in a little bit of cash. Uh, from our Italian restaurant. Where am I looking? Yeah, Italian restaurant, 90 bucks. So there we go. That's that's not too bad. We spent 50, boom, taxes. We're actually paying our taxes. Can you believe that? Uh, it's it's marvelous, isn't it? Right. So we could send out, we could send out a party. Oh, look, the market price has actually gone up. So we made away with... Uh, we made away with, with some, some, good, uh, some good... some good deals there. That's excellent. Right. Anyway, um, we've got maximum 10 out of 10 units stored. That's fine. Um, I don't really want to sell the booze at the moment. I think what we want to do is try and get ourselves some additional uh, recruits. So we'll send a mobster to go and look for new recruits. I will absolutely accept that. And um, we will... Who do we want to recruit? Masher or Chicken? Uh, they've all got different stats. I don't think it really particularly matters for us right now. I don't think it particularly matters. Let's, let's bring you on. I mean... We can increase your salary, and that's going to increase your loyalty. Do I really care about loyalty? No, I do not. Uh, let's see if we can... Yeah, let's pick up you as well. Okay, great. Now, we haven't actually assigned these guys anything to do yet, so we should probably start thinking about something to do. Uh, right, and I should say is that everywhere around the map is is uh, is buyable businesses. So, for example, look at this. Pest control, extort businesses and add to your territory. Yeah, we can do that, and extorting businesses definitely has its value. We can also raid businesses as well if we want to, or bomb the building or patrol the area if we want to increase their, uh, their, their I guess, protection or their territory protection, uh, which I don't really want to worry about too much at the moment. I think this seems like a pretty good area to uh, to extort. We're gonna send, we're gonna send Masher. We're gonna send Masher and attempt to extort the small bank in the surrounding area. Now, when a person extorts an area, they will extort the entire block, and that to me seems like a pretty darn good idea. I think I'm gonna buy the news agents purely because I'm curious as to what happens. Right, news agent will be bought this week for around seven thousand four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Now. That's going to turn us a profit, presumably, if the news agent is being run profitably. Uh, but I think we should be fine. Right, that's everyone. That's everyone doing what they need to do. Uh, critically, we've got our main man, Taddy's himself, going out and looking for more recruits. So we should be able to have a few more recruits other than the two that we've got this week. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Taddy's found two new recruits. Masher successfully extorted three new businesses. Chicken bought the news agent for... 7425 bucks. Nice. Okay, so we've got 311 in the bank right now. That's fine. Uh, this is our business for sure. How much is it bringing in? 153. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Now, we can turn this into a money laundering operation. Uh, I'm not sure that I really want to do. Uh, I'm not sure that I really want to do that, but we can. Uh, right, so it's worth noting. It's worth noting that Chicken is now equipped as the manager of this operation. Now... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, when you are managing a restaurant or you're managing a news agent or you're managing anything like that, uh, you can uh, you can optimize. You can optimize, right? So the mental, the higher the mental value, uh, the higher the profits. So to be honest, I think we probably want to cancel your managing order and probably get somebody a little bit more qualified into managing this news agent. Again, it's probably not going to make a huge difference, but you know what? We're going to give it a punt. Right, let's go to recruits. Let's see what we've got. Uh, both of these chumps have got pretty high uh, mental stats. Sure, we'll actually recruit everyone. Doom? What a, what a weird and crazy name. Right, so we'll remove you as manager. There we go. And we will assign a manager as... Eh, Doom, sure. Uh, actually, do I care about Doom? 
No, I think actually you're a little bit better because you've got good, some good social skills, which are good for other things. Right, let's get you in as manager. Right, that's that's jumped our profit from 153 bucks all the way up to 229. Now, don't get me wrong, a news agent isn't a particularly profitable venture, uh, but it's not uh, but it's not bad. Right, we're getting a protection fee from all of the three businesses over here. We're getting a fee of about 11 bucks per uh, per thingamabobber. That's pretty good. I mean, how much is it going to cost to take over a small bank? I mean, a bit. It's going to take over a bit. I mean, what, what else can we do? Is there, a, is there a large bank somewhere? Small warehouses? There must be a large bank somewhere. There's a laundromat, a literal laundromat, an accountancy firm. I mean, I think maybe we just want to continue. We continue a, a little bit of extorting. Sure. Let's, let's just try and extort a whole bunch of areas. We might as well just use the opportunity... Get a little bit of a little, little bit of extra cash under our belt. Doom, yep, we'll get you, we'll get you out. Uh, nail salon, art gallery, whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Right. Okay. So this is a lot of extorting that we're going to be doing. I think we should have enough cash. Uh, we should probably just have a quick little look. Expenses, yeah, but that doesn't really count, does it? Yeah. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Three new businesses. Three new businesses, four new businesses, and three new businesses. Now, that's a lot of businesses. That is a lot of businesses that we have managed to take under our wing. Uh, quite quite comfortably, I would hasten to add. Uh, yeah, we should have a lot of protection money coming in. Or, well, when we have the, the collector, we should have a lot of protection money coming in. Let's get, let's get you. Uh, let's get you to go and take in all the protection money. And um, do we want to try and maybe sell some... Do we want to maybe try and sell some of our alcohol? I did buy the alcohol. I did buy the alcohol, and it might be it might be worth it might be worth trying to get rid of that. Um, we need to bear in mind where we can't actually sell it, though. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Army surplus store. That's pretty cool. I mean, what are we at? Four hundred and forty-eight bucks. Yeah. This news agent is. It's making. I mean, it's making money, but it's not. It's not exactly making money particularly fast. We can sell it though. That is. That is worth bearing in mind. Uh, do we just want to continue to extort? I think I want to continue to extort. Right. Let's do. Let's do a little bit more. A uh, little bit more extorting, and we'll look for some. We'll look for some additional businesses that we can. That we can pick up. Extort. Extort. Beautiful. Okay. Right. And see what we've got in store here. Right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Two new businesses, two new businesses. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, collected 61% uh, protection fees from our territory. That's not too bad, 122 bucks. It's not exactly great. Wages are quite high at the moment. We should probably think about getting some more staff, uh, to be fair. Uh, we do need to bear in mind that territory protection is quite low. Uh, we probably will need to look to try and... Uh, sell or uh, sell what am i talking about uh do some patrolling uh which is probably which is probably worth uh which is probably worth bearing in mind now i should be able to i should be able to sell can i sell can i sell booze to the to the diner i can't sell booze to the diner that's that's unfortunate um do we need to increase the protection a little bit more i think we i think we probably do i think we probably do um patrolling Patrolling, patrolling, patrolling. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do a little bit of patrolling. I think that seems like a pretty good idea. Let's also see if we can try and recruit some more people. Uh, because at the end of the day, if we want to extort, then then that's great. I'm I'm happy to do that. Uh, right, let's do you to go and look for new recruits. That's fine. Don't particularly care about any of my rivals. Let's get you to extort. And can we patrol the area? We'll patrol the area with uh, with you. Now, patrolling is actually kind of interesting because it gives us a whole bunch of extra information about our rivals, potentially. 40% protection fees from our territory, extorted three new businesses. Okay, all right. That's, uh, that's not necessarily the worst case scenario for us. Not too bad at all. Uh, pest control next door. I really cannot believe that... I can't believe that the pest control uh, is still there, but that's fine. Um, I would like to raid. I would like to raid a bank, please. I would like to raid a bank. It's. I uh, do. I want to raid a bank um, nearby my area. Yeah, I probably do. Or a jewelry store. Ooh. 
Interesting. So the police are actually here. That's that's worth noting. That is worth noting. Um, let's see if we can try and raid the raid the bank. Now, raiding uh, values physical traits, higher chances of success, and mental lower chances of uh, getting caught. Right. We'll do that. So Tannies, you're gonna go and you're gonna go and rob the bank, which is great. Um, yeah, loot is directly correlated with the business profits. So the better the better buildings to raid, uh, the better chance of the better the better chance of profit. Uh, we can also, I mean, there must be a large bank somewhere. It's a cathedral over here. Oh, this is where the archbishop is is just chilling. Okay, um, there must be a large bank somewhere. Courthouse is over here. That's fine. Law firm. Is there no large banks anywhere? There definitely is. I've definitely seen them around. Okay. All right. Well, that is what it is. French restaurant. City Hall is over there. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Um, have we got anyone else? Have we got anyone else assigned? Uh, have we got anyone else that is still looking for a job? Yeah, we got two people that are looking for a job. I mean... I mean, what do we want to do? Uh, let's let's extort this area over here. There we go, and extort this area over here. Yeah, I mean, we should be able to we should be able to sell. We should be able to sell. We should be able to sell the booze. Um, I haven't done it yet. I really should do it. I really should do it. Right, forty-two protection money from our territory. Four new businesses. Uh, two new businesses, excellent. Successfully robbed the small bank and took 342 bucks. Uh, so that's not exactly a lot, but that's not bad. Right, police presence has been ramped up on the small bank. Uh, we should probably look at like hitting up jewelry stores and stuff like that. That's always a, that's always a good one, uh, I think. Pawnbroker, the value of that business is pretty, pretty negligible. We are making money though, we are making money. And it is, it's coming along, it's just whether we're... Whether we're making it at a quick enough pace. Large bank. Look at that. Large bank. Okay, well, the large bank is already guarded by the police. And that terrifies me. Pool hall, supermarket, large bank. R I mean, let's freaking go. Taddies, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. It's a little bit far away, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, jewelry store. Let's raid this business as well. Doom, you can go and do that. We're going to just do some business raiding. Uh, business profits, I know, is is kind of like my my uh, my modus operandi, but that's fine. Right, let's go to trade. Uh, let's see, sell booze. Sure, let's do it. Who do we want to put on selling booze? Well, the only person, uh, the only person that we can. Right, we'll try to sell. We'll try to sell booze in our territory. Let's see if we can actually turn a profit. Now, if we buy a uh, a warehouse, we sold one unit of booze. Uh oh. Bootlegging, but Taddy's did rob the uh, the bank. And the jewelry store. 670 bucks. Masher is facing charges for bootlegging. Well, that's a bit lame. That's very lame, in fact. But that's fine. I mean, look, we got $3,000 in the bank. That's uh, that's not too bad. Um, I do think that we want to try and buy another business, though. I mean, we're, you know, we're making we're making money by by having the, uh, the collection. How much did we actually make? 166 in protection. The business made way more than that. So we should probably try and focus on the businesses. Uh, crime, yep, trade made absolutely diddly squat. I mean, that really made absolutely nothing. That really made absolutely nothing. I mean, we can try and sell even more, even more booze. I mean, the thing is, I mean, the, the bootlegging, it's fine. It's fine. It just doesn't seem overly, overly great. Uh, the better the better skills are are mental. So you know what, Doom. I don't know why it's called Archbishop, but that's fine. Uh, can we also try and recruit more people? TikTok. Okay, it, it strikes me as height of irony to be uh, to be hiring somebody called TikTok, but that's fine. I think we should keep robbing as well. You know, um, I don't think that we're quite to the stage where we can look at buying a business out. I don't think that there's any business that's actually small enough that would allow us to get. That would allow us to get in there for, uh, you know, for like four and a half or... Uh, nail salon's not bad. Nail salon's not bad. That's going to be 4,900 bucks. I think we should probably look at buying buying businesses. I mean, that is my modus operandi. That's what we should really do, right? Makes sense. Right. Can we find a... 
find a bank, big bank or something to 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 to, to rob. Pawnbroker. Bank. Sure. Raid business. On you go, Taddies. There we go. And let's do the Sure, we'll do another small bank, I guess. Right, TikTok, you can you can make your way out over there. That's fine. Uh, okay, these charges, I mean, are these charges problematic? I hope not. I really hope not. But I guess we'll I guess we'll see. I, I could buy some weapons, by the way, for my team, but I feel like that I, I don't particularly I don't particularly care about that. Oh yeah, you're totally conviction chance is 38%. I think I'm gonna roll those. I think I'm gonna roll those uh roll those those odds i mean i don't know what it's going to take it from let's see 341 bucks no that seems like a bit too much you know what i'm just going to roll the odds i'm going to roll the odds let's have a little look oh who's who's not assigned masher isn't assigned that's fine uh well you know what you can go and extort this area actually can you you can try uh the police are nearby but that's fine okay let's do it we're quite infamous at the moment Masher was found innocent for bootlegging. Excellent. Doom sold one unit of booze. That's fine. Protection money. Uh, yeah. I mean, I need to check, actually. What is the... The protection money? Collecting protection money. Uh, what is it? Social? A higher chance? Okay, that's fine. Controversial verdict. Okay, I didn't know that I employed that person, but there we go. Uh, right, let's see if we can change our collection. Who's our... One of your mob is already looking is, is doing collection. I know, it's chicken, right? Oh, but you've got quite a high social you've got quite a high social skill already, so I think that's actually completely fine. Um Masher is better. Yeah, fine. We'll cancel the order. Cancel the order of collecting for you and assign it to assign it to Masher to do the to do the collecting. It's not going to make a huge difference, but it'll 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 make a slight difference, uh, right? So profitability wise, we're not actually in a bad place at all. Um, Four thousand bucks. We're really looking to try and get our new business up and running. Um, let's see if we can try and evade some taxes. Thirty percent, sure. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, and let's continue to try and sell booze. I mean, honestly, this seems like just a disaster. Who is good at selling booze? What's the what's the skill that we need for selling? It's I need to check the the flipping wiki every time. Mental. Mental is is higher for selling. Uh right. So, let's do doom. That's fine. And then let's just see if we can try and rob some more businesses. I honestly think that, you know, just robbing businesses seems to be seems to be the name of the game, right? I think so anyway. Large bank, it's already robbed. We still haven't discovered where any of our where any of our uh, opponents are are actually at. You know what? Shh. So we can do we can bomb buildings as well. Um, do I really want to do this? I'm not sure that I do. I'm not sure that I do at all. Yeah, I mean it's only useful to. It's only useful to get rid of the competition, and we don't even know where, and we don't actually know where anyone is yet. Like, we need to get some serious intel on our competitors. But I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Uh, right, so yeah, nothing, nothing that we can... Jewelry store up here? Sure, let's raid the, let's raid the business up here. We'll get Taddy's to do that, excellent. That's good. And let's go and extort the area with you. Excellent. And let's try and extort this area with TikTok. Right. Let's do this. Okay. I think we're in a good place. I think we're in a good place. It certainly feels like we're in a good place. Doom sold zero booze. 71% of protection money, though. That's pretty good. Five new businesses, six new businesses, and a jewelry store robbing. That is not bad at all. Uh, right. I mean, I think to be honest, we just have to we just have to admit our booze our booze selling strategy just ain't it just ain't cutting it. It just ain't cutting it. It it, it it's not it's not it's not good enough. Clearly, it's just not good enough. We're 
we're not making we're not making exactly exactly what we need uh to make but you know what that's fine um that's fine i'm actually i'm okay with i'm okay with this this is this is this is a-okay uh what am i thinking of doing now it's a good question it's a good question i mean there's always i just i just hate the i just don't like the booze situation i feel like maybe we need to try and get some intel on where my opponents actually are it would also be really nice if we could just you know buy a flipping building Cobbler, I mean, 4,900 bucks. Movie theater, 12,000. Accounting firm, 9,000. Candy store, 7,000. Uh, the other opportunity that we have, I mean, machine gun, you're the one that's managing, right? You're the one that's managing. It's the mental skill that allows us to actually manage better. Protection, 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 vehicle, social, mental. I mean, 500 bucks for a bike to give you extra mental. That will pay for itself. That will pay for itself at some point. So that's going to be that's gonna be good. Uh, but obviously, it's going to set us back temporarily, I would say. I mean, we can just raid anywhere that we really want to. I mean, profits... Still... We can raid anywhere that we want to, but still seems like a pretty bad idea. Um, yeah, so protection protection over here is is kind of kind of waning. Uh, is there anywhere that we can I mean, we could extort this area? I don't believe that the police actually being there will make a huge difference, but we'll try and extort. Sure. We'll try and extort, try and extort just a, a million more areas, and then we'll worry about the the rest later. Right. I did try and extort a building that has a police presence, so we might not exactly have a, a great time, but we'll see. Um, also, I need to look at who's doing my collection, and we need to see if we can try and get them the vehicle upgrade that will allow us to extort more and extort better. Who is it that's doing the uh, the collection? We've got 7,000 or 4,700. That's fine. You're doing the collecting and it's social, right? So let's do. Is it a car? I mean, a car? That's a thousand bucks. That's a lot of. That's a lot of money. What are the finances looking like? Protection fees are up to 380. That ain't bad. Um, that ain't bad at all. Wages are quite expensive at the moment. I really feel like I should just have somebody on selling at all times, right? Although, funnily enough, what if we were to try and sell this building? What if we were to try and sell this building? We need a high... We'll be sold this week for around 7,420. Okay, I think the higher the, the, higher the mental capacity that we, um, that we put on, the, the more we're going to be able to sell it for. I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be fine. Right, let's try and extort this area. Yeah, it's, I know it's a kindergarten. It's kind of wild, but fine. Uh, I want to do some. I want to do some robbery as well. But if we can't do robbery, then we'll just continue to extort. And as far as I'm concerned, that is fine. Right. Okay. Let's see what we've got in store. Let's see what we've got in store. Seventy-nine percent protection fees. That's pretty good. Extorted one new business, two new businesses, two new businesses, two new businesses. Did we get a building sold? 7,125, um, so we kind of lost money on that transaction. Now, we did get, like, more cash, which is great. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm kind of delighted that we that we have it. Uh, and I think we cannot afford this week. What? What do you mean? You cannot afford to buy this week. Try canceling other orders. Uh, we can afford to do this at the moment so what's the what's the issue why is this why is this a concern why is this a concern for me so we got you collecting profits i mean we should be able to we should be able to make a, a tight little profit 
Yeah, diner. I mean, I really want to sell. I really want to sell this flippant booze. You know, I really want to sell this booze. Let's see if we can try and do that. Right, let's try and lower the selling price. 100% that it's going to get sold. Sure. Let's do it. So, it's a higher social skill that we need. We will get... TikTok. Sure, we'll do that. And we'll see what... We'll see what this gives us. I mean, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be like nothing, but it's gonna be, but it's gonna be better than it's gonna be better than nothing. It's gonna be better than nothing, to be honest. But that's fine. Right. Um. What next? What do we want to do? I mean, I really want to buy. I really want to buy a business. I really want to buy a business. Or maybe even patrol area to try and like find some of my. Some of my opponents. I mean, we're extorting like a lot of. We're extorting a lot of stuff, which is great. You know, I'm I'm happy that we're. Happy that we're able to make money. Don't get me wrong. Right. Let's see if we can buy businesses next week. Maybe if we go to the next week, it'll be fine. Sold a total of one unit of booze. Really. Really. Ah, look at this. Somebody's been discovered. King Ping's gang. Right. So. Chicken has been discovered by King Ping's gang. Machine gun has been discovered. Right. So where was that? Where were they operating? They were operating in like this area here. So that's interesting. So protection is, is quite low. Let's see if we can try and patrol the area. Uh, what is the, the skill that is good for patrolling? We need to we need to check this. Patrolling is physical. So physical is the bottom one. Uh, let's get you. Taddies will patrol the area. Excellent. Wonderful. Now, can we buy some businesses, please? I would like to buy the cobbler here. Let's get... Uh, is it... Buying the building... Machine gun. Sure. And what was the other one that we were looking at? Uh, no, it was nail salon here. Sure, let's get doomed to buy the nail salon, and I think that's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be enough. Oh look at this. 85% territory. That's that's nice. That is very, very nice. Uh do we want to extort the motel? Sure. And let's see if we can try and extort this area here as well. Sure. Okay, let's see what we've got in store. So the kingpin is operating around this area. You have discovered Giggles, a member of Kingpin. Okay, so now this is where we can start to this is where we can start to get funky. Right, we bought over two businesses. Bought over two businesses. Uh will they make us money? I have no idea. Uh what is this? 168 bucks of uh of profit. I think we can I think we can just about deal with that. Grifters, what does this do? Sure, let's see to build an illegal business. Let's build an illegal business. Why not? TikTok, you go, you know, you build a build an illegal business over there. Nail salon. Uh, sure. Let's let's make a brothel, but we're we're gonna have to do it next turn. That's fine. Uh, right, so we discovered somebody. Where is it? Where is it? I thought we discovered. I thought we discovered somebody. Where was it? Right. Um assassinate, interrogate. Taddies. Get information by interrogating Giggles this week. Is that going to work out? I have absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea. Uh, right, selling booze. Are we actually already selling booze? I, I can't even remember. So you're interrogating, you're idle, you're collecting, you're managing, managing, building, interrogating. Right, so we should, yeah, we should try and sell. We should try and sell and we need a high social skill to do it. So uh, we'll get you to, to do it, chicken. Excellent. Okay, is that everyone? That's everyone. Okay. Okay, one unit of booze. Wow, this is so boring. Chicken is facing charges for bootlegging. Was unable to interrogate Giggles. A 63% uh, protection fee. Built illegal grifters. Very, very cool. Now, um, the illegal grifters, is this going to give us is this going to give us money? It absolutely is going to give us money. That is great. That is wonderful. I am very, very happy with that. Are you a decent you're a decent, uh, a decent manager for this operation, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we'll get a brothel next, uh, next turn, which I'm pretty excited about. That sounds great. Uh, let's extort this area. 
do we have any minimap? No, there's literally nothing on here that would... Yeah, there's literally nothing on here that gives us intel with regards to our rivals. Yeah, so Kingpin... Um, this is not, this is not Giggles, though. Oh, hold on, that's Giggles. That's Giggles. I mean, if we assassinate you, is that gonna do something? We could give it a shot. Sure. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I feel like we're gonna end up going to war with this, uh, with this, with this, with this gang. And I feel like I'm wholly unprepared, but you know what? Who cares? Right, let's raid this business and remind them of exactly why it's important to... Uh, that they pay protection money. Chicken was found innocent. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about the bootlegging charge. TikTok has been discovered. Okay. TikTok extorted one new business. We've discovered Scarlet, a member of another faction. Taddy's died in a fight against... Oh my god. Chicken died in a fight against Viper. Kingpin has declared war on us. This is a disaster. Wow. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was it. Okay, um, Taddy's, who looked remarkably like Walter White, actually, and I didn't even pay attention to that, uh, has died. Well, there you go. Um, that was not too bad. That was not too bad. I feel like we didn't really, we didn't really stick to a specific strategy. We more sort of, like, um, I guess went around them all. I don't think that that's necessarily too, too much of a problem. You know, to sort of spread your, to spread your wings. Maybe we should have, um, maybe we should have tried to, uh, to blow up some buildings rather than just going out, uh, you know, just going for all-out war. We were not really particularly well equipped for combat, and we did end up going into combat against the combat, the combat faction. Uh, but you know what? I don't think, I don't think that that's too bad. I'm pretty excited to see what the future of this game uh, holds. It's gonna be pretty darn interesting. Uh, I'm very, very excited. It's a lovely little game. It's got a lovely little, it's got a lovely little, uh, I guess, skill set. It's a lovely little uh, lovely, lovely little sub genre. So I'd be, uh, I'd be very interested to see where this goes. But anyway, ladies and gents, we're gonna wrap this video up right about now. My name, of course, has been Open a Potato. This has been Pixel Gangsters. I'll see you next time. Bye.